BOA, Bank of America, saying it will no longer lend money to companies running private prisons and ICE detention centers. And this is after J.P. Morgan Chase and Wells Fargo cut their ties with the industry earlier on this year. BOA is America's second largest bank. And Jonathan, what do you make of this? Yeah, Susan, this is economic protest. So you've seen it with uh, gun manufacturers. You've seen it with abortion providers. You've seen it with Chick-fil-A over the years. And Bank of America, a huge bank, is looking at this, this tiny bit se segment of their, uh, their income and saying, you know, who needs the hassle with this? So what is needed is some type of a rational policy. So this isn't in the headlines day after day after day. So it's not surprising Bank of America simply doesn't want their name associated with right now as a, a PR risk. Yeah, Liz, I just wanted to point this out because the Miami Herald actually reported that Bank of America was a financier behind Caliber, which actually runs Homestead. Homestead right, which has become a huge flashpoint. And really, the, the point is, and Jonathan's quite right, we need policies which keep these kids from coming across the border and being put in these facilities. But here's, the, here's what's so stupid about this entire controversy. In May alone, 11,000 unaccompanied kids came across our border. 11,000 kids. You don't just release them on their own uh, welfare into the streets of Texas or whatever. It makes no sense. You have to have a place to put them. This facility actually, uh, although it's become a real flashpoint, because it's private, because they don't let reporters stream all over it and photograph the kids and stuff like that, there is no indication that they're not kids they're not well cared for in this mm -hmm. facility. I think this is just one of these things like the Wayfair furniture uh, protests, which are just sort of ill-founded, but they make for good headlines. Yeah, although this does raise a debate that's been going on for a whole bunch of years about whether or not you should privatize prisons, right? Whether or not these sorts of things that are usually thought of as being the purview of the power of punishment and the coercive power of punishment in the hands of the state, should that be outsourced? It's not like collecting garbage. You know, you can definitely outsource But this outsource is not garbage. a prison. No, no, I this know, but, it, but it is a detention center run privately. I'm not saying that this is a wise policy in this. We, we talked about this with Wayfair yesterday, which is defunding these places doesn't actually do much good if what you want is... Well, well actually, we got uh, an email from the Health and Human Services Department. They say Homestead is an emergency influx shelter. Exactly. It is not a detention center. They say this is a myth, and they've gone on to clarify a lot of this because the children have not been separated from their parents. These are the unguarded... Yeah, these kids are all by single, themselves. Yes. You can't well, just single let them go. All, all companies hire and spend big bucks on people who give them the pulse of what's going on out there. And no doubt Bank America, J.P. Morgan did it also a few months ago, recognize what the risk and reward is. They don't want to be taken up on Capitol Hill and ask the questions on this, so they move on. It's the same thing that happened. They're backing away from lending gun makers also. I'm sure this is not the first. This is not the last. There'll be other businesses going forward, especially with the Dems uh, controlling the House.